Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nana's Hidden Apron and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to try a new recipe. Y'all know that's been the thing here lately, right? I'm going to try to make some fudge using a few ingredients. It's a microwave fudge, so let's get started. Okay, I'm just, I've got everything already prepared. Yeah, like right here. So we have a whole bag, 32 ounces of powdered sugar. And the biggest thing is we hope that it fits in our bowl because this is the biggest bowl that will fit in my microwave. <laughs> hmm. I don't know you guys, I don't know. So we take this, 32 ounces of powdered sugar, one cup of cocoa powder. And we're gonna mix these two in together. And we're gonna try not to splatter our chocolate because that's all that I've got. That's all the cocoa I have. I actually thought that, well Tom had already offered, but I actually thought that he was gonna have to run to the store and get us some cocoa powder for me to try to make this. And we measured what we had, and it was just a little more than a cup. So, we're good. I know my recipes are running late, you know, like after Christmas and stuff, but I only do one a week, guys. And I don't make my, my candies and all that stuff weeks ahead of time and stick it in the freezer. I prefer my stuff to be fresh. So... You know, that's why I don't even know half the time if this stuff would be put in the freezer or not. But we're going to get this mixed together very well, and then we're going to go ahead and put our other ingredients in. Okay, now I've got that semi-mixed, for the most part. It's mixed. <laughs> um, I have two sticks of butter here that I've got cubed that we're going to put in here. Um, <laughs> I'm nervous, y'all. I'm nervous. I'm going to watch my microwave really, really close. I am. Now, you don't mix this. You just you put it on the top. That's what it says to do. So, <sighs> is this going to be a dud <laughs> or is this gonna work oh my goodness i hope it works <laughs> you can tell i'm nervous can't you <laughs> well i am i assure you i am now you're gonna you're gonna do this um for about three minutes but you're gonna do it at 30 second intervals just like you typically do with your microwave when you're melting things in it. 30 seconds at a time, three minutes total. Now, after each 30 seconds, we're gonna stir it. Well, I'm gonna use a whisk, but after each 30 seconds. But we're gonna put all of this, two sticks of butter in this bowl that I'm nervous about and the half cup of milk. Okay. Half cup of milk. I'm just pouring it all around on the top. And I tell you, I don't like the looks of it. I just don't like the looks of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, a long handled teaspoon here and just let some of that down in there because I really don't like it. Okay. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Well, we're hoping this is gonna turn out really good and we're gonna give these folks a big thumbs up and shout out. <laughs> All right, now I've already lined 
my pen with parchment paper. It says a nine by 13. This is my mother's biscuit pan that she used for many, many years. I'm gonna use this because it's more of a rectangle than, than anything that I've got. It's got sharp edges to the, to the uh, rectangle, so. Okay, we're gonna microwave this for three minutes and don't go off and leave it if you've got a small bowl and a small microwave like I do. After the three minutes, we're gonna stir this. Then we're gonna microwave it 30 second increments and then we're gonna uh, stir it each time in between those 30 minute or 30 second intervals. It should be about another minute longer, but it depends on your microwave. We're wanting it to get blended and creamy, okay? So we're gonna put it in there for three minutes. We're not gonna bother it. Then we're gonna take it out and stir it after that three minutes and 30 seconds twice. We're gonna stir it in between each 30 seconds too. Okay. Be sure you something to get that out of there because that is hot. That's been three minutes. So, I'm gonna stir it very well. Just be careful because that's actually hot. So, I was so thankful that it didn't overflow. Let me clear that out. And I'm gonna use this spoon for just a few minutes to mix that up a little more. Chocolatey smelling. Now I'm gonna tell you this is something that could be made keto, by the way. If you wanna uh, take monk fruit sweetener or whatever, if you, or just go ahead and buy the powdered uh, sweetener, you can do it like that. But I would certainly cut it way down because that stuff is not cheap. We know that, you know. If you, if you. Uh, do sugar-free stuff or keto-friendly stuff, then you know it is not cheap. Those sweeteners are not. All right. Now, scrape it on the bottom really good. The clear bowl is best if you've got one because you can see how well you've got it mixed up. Now, this is going back into the microwave for 30 seconds. I'm gonna take it out and stir it. And then we're gonna pop it in for another 30 seconds until it's completely smooth. Then we're gonna add some more things to it. So I'll be right back. Yeah. That's been another minute. So let's get it all stirred in again. It doesn't say to, but I believe I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna put some, uh, you can either butter or put some nonstick spray on your parchment paper. Because I've been having trouble lately with stuff sticking to the parchment paper and I don't even know why. But I can tell you all, this smells delicious. My word, look at that. Nice and creamy. You know, don't, don't, uh, don't leave it in there any more than a total of four minutes because uh, you're gonna think that it's not ready to come out yet. But look at that, you all see how smooth that is. Now, our next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add two tablespoons of vanilla. We're gonna stir that in. Okay. 
remember, get it, get it in there really good. Don't leave any of it just laying around on the sides. Get it all mixed in. Okay, now, you can stop here or you can add other things to this. I have a cup of chopped walnuts that I'm going to put in there. And we're just going to start that all in. Um, you can put, uh, you know, if you want to put pretzels in it, I mean, just anything you like to add to it is fine. You could even put uh, a few chocolate chips in there if you wanted to. Add a little more chocolate to it. Put a cup, like maybe some, oh, uh, a fourth cup of sprinkle, a fourth cup of, uh, of uh, white chocolate chips on the top after you put it in your pan. And see how it, uh, yeah, it, it'll do like a little streak in it. Yeah, oh, you know what? Did I, did I spray that? No, I did not. I hope it don't stick you on. That would be so sad if it does. <laughs> not to mention, a little on the expensive side. Oh my goodness, this smells so, so good. Now we're going to put this in the refrigerator for an hour to let it set up. It might take longer than that, but we're going to start out with an hour. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Can you see it? Yeah, there we go. It's already starting to set up. I'm going to get it in the fridge. All right, I had to show you all this. He was going to come in here and clean up for me. I think he's cleaning up that bowl really good, don't you all? <laughs> A small spatula with a curved end is really good for getting out of the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> if you all have not subscribed yet, I hope you will click the subscription button and the notification bell so that you know every time we put new content on. Which is usually once a week. It uh, helps my channel a lot if you do go ahead and subscribe. Click that thumbs up. It means you like my videos. Thank you. He's still over here eating, <laughs> scrubbing that bowl out. <laughs> it's good. I mean, come on. I mean, it is. I don't know if you can see it on my tongue, but I taste it. And uh, I think I would probably go with a, a tablespoon, one tablespoon of vanilla, not two. But that's just me. You might like two tablespoons of vanilla in yours. But we're gonna let that sit in there for that hour and uh, it might take longer because I'm using a smaller pan. That pan is actually an 11 and a half by... Nine. Was it nine or was it eight? Eight and a half by 11 and a half. Yeah. Eight and a half by 11 and a half. I'm sorry, I've got hiccups. <laughs> but that's what I was using. But I wanted to use that, you know, in memory of my mother. See you in a little while. Okay, I did a little check to make sure that this was set up. It's been in the refrigerator for an hour. So, I don't know that it is completely set up, but uh, the end of it is. So, it's like the edge of it down here. So, I'm gonna get Tom to come in here and we're gonna, I'm just gonna take a small spot here see if we can get this out. I don't think it's set up well enough yet. Let me pull this up out of there. And we'll try it like that. <laughs> I don't think it's ready yet. Hmm. Ooh, it smells good. And I definitely should have sprayed the paper. Word, look. <laughs> yeah, it's it's still just a little, not exactly ready yet. Y'all see me handing this off to Tom? <laughs> no, you don't. But like I said, it's not set up yet. So give it, definitely give yourself longer than an hour. But what's it taste like? Is it good? Mm-hmm. Is it too sweet? Mm 
<clears throat> but y'all don't forget to uh, spray your. It might not stick once it's once it's completely set up, but don't forget to spray it or butter it anyway, just in case. I got me a little bite. Mmm. Love the nuts in there. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> it's good. Really good. Come on here. Here we go. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take this back in the refrigerator and let it finish setting up. But um this is really good. And you don't have to do the whole recipe, you can half it. Which, uh, probably what I would do just for Tom and I. <laughs> but it's really good. So you all take care. And we'll see you next time. Bye.